yum hi everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new around here i feel like this video might attract a few new viewers so if you are new to this channel please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below for more of my videos um, and make sure you've got the notification bell turned on as well if you want to be notified every time i upload a video i upload twice every week so yeah please make sure you do that and also give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it just sitting down with one of these delicious drinks these are actually from the brand Flawsome, and they very kindly sent me a few boxes of their drinks and if you haven't heard of them before basically oh, there's a hair on it if you haven't heard of this brand before basically they use like fruit that is going to be thrown away and they press it down and add sparkling water so this drink is um apple and rhubarb and it was basically fruit that was going to be thrown away uh, because the supermarkets didn't want it for some reason so they put it into a drink and honestly they're delicious and they're one of your five a day so they've sorted me right out and I literally drink one every single day. Delicious. So as you can tell from the title of this video, I thought I would sit down and do another university related video. So I was actually planning on filming a Q&A and then I was looking back through my old videos and I realised I already did my last ever Q&A for uni. So I thought, right, I won't do that. Um, and I thought, what would people probably benefit from the most? And I thought that I haven't really spoken about my degree in general. And I thought I would sit down and make this video um, based around how to get a first class honours degree. I'm going to do a little bit of information about my course and my kind of university journey before I get started. I will keep it short and sweet. I have just graduated from Solent University studying beauty promotion. I finished with a first class honours degree. I was there for three years and if you want to watch any of like my uni related videos just go a little bit further back on my channel because I documented the whole three years pretty much so if there's anything you want to know you'll be able to find it on my channel. Um, so yeah that's kind of like my little my little story of university. I've also never spoken about what I actually wrote my dissertation about or what my final project was so I'm going to go into a little bit more depth about that as well in case you're interested. So for my dissertation I focused around the idea of social media and influencers having an effect on brides when they're getting married so I kind of looked into all of the YouTube weddings and how the image that they portray and these kind of big elaborate weddings that they put online um, are affecting day-to-day -day brides when they're getting married and whether it's affecting their thought processes when they are planning their own wedding that kind of thing so I did some interviews with like people getting married I tried to also interview some influencers who had put their weddings online but unfortunately no one replied to me so I had to make do with what I got so that was my dissertation and then for my final major project again I haven't actually ever told you guys this but I essentially created a makeup line to go along with my channel so I did kind of merchandise for Emily Rose and it was called Emily Rose Beauty. I will insert a photo here um, of the product range that I designed. I would be really happy to film a video about the whole process of doing my final major project and how I went about it if you guys are interested so do let me know down below if you want me to do that because I can I can happily film that for you. I then also had a few other units that obviously went towards my final degree classification. Anyway, you don't need to know all that. That's not what you're here for. You want to know how to get a first class degree like I did. So this is all from my own brain, things that I think you should know and things that I think you should do and consider if you want to get a first class honours degree. So obviously a bit of a disclaimer, getting a first isn't like everyone's goal and I completely get that like not everyone at uni wants to get a first or is kind of like capable of working towards a first like for me ever since I started uni I never thought that would be a thing I didn't think I would be like capable of getting a first class honours degree but then I did my first year and my second year and my overall grade for both of those years worked out as a first so I thought okay if I can do that for those two years I need to push myself to get one for my third year or I knew I was going to be really mad at myself. Another disclaimer is that obviously every single course at university and every degree is different. I studied beauty promotion which was a very creative course. It wasn't academic as such. I didn't have to do any exams. It was all coursework and kind of every unit that I did throughout the last two years went towards my final degree. So it wasn't like I had to sit and do one big exam and have loads of pressure on me. I would never be able to deal with that um, I'm not the kind of person that can deal with like exams and pressure and stuff I'm a lot better to do coursework and be able to do the work in my own time so that's um, kind of how my degree worked and obviously the points that I'm going to make in this video are not going to work for everyone are not going to 
suit everyone um, or be kind of relevant to your course but I'm just speaking from my own personal experience and I just hope that some of these points really help you. So I think my first point is quite obvious but you need to be invested in the work that you are doing and I think there's no good in kind of faffing around first and second year and thinking oh I'll just work really hard in my third year. For me personally, I went to uni um, a little bit later than everyone else, so I was a little bit older. I was already in the frame of mind where I was going to uni purely to get a degree and to work hard. And as much as I loved going out and partying and enjoying myself, I primarily wanted to focus on the work and I knew that that's what I was actually there for. So I did focus really hard and I worked to the best of my ability in first, second and third year. And I think that is really important. Whereas a lot of people I know... Um, would kind of go to uni and mess around first year be like oh it doesn't count I think if you have that mindset from the start then you're not really you're not off to a good start you know I think you need to go into uni from first year and really really focus obviously having said that if you have already done your first year and you're now going into second or third and you're like right I need to knuckle down obviously it can be done and people can still achieve a really high grade if you have messed around in first year but I just think even though it doesn't necessarily count towards your degree I think for your own pride and for your kind of work ethic you should just work hard from the first day my second point is another kind of obvious one but you need to attend every lecture and seminar and opportunity that you get i can hand on heart say that i didn't go to everything because obviously i had days where i just couldn't be bothered which i think everyone has but where and when possible i think you should go to everything that is offered to you so attend every seminar every lecture every guest lecture that you can go to because at the end of the day it's all extra knowledge and wisdom that you can then put into your final project or your dissertation it's only going to benefit you and i just think it looks really good from your point of view that you're putting an effort it also looks good for your lecturers to get to know you as a person who really is trying their best with everything because at the end of the day they're the ones marking your project or your dissertation so if you put in a lot of effort from the first day and they get a good impression of you and they see that your work ethic is really good and strong then they're more likely to give you a good grade do you know what I'm saying so just keep them sweet and go to go to everything they put on for you for me like I had one-to-ones quite often and a lot of people in my course didn't go to them which obviously that's their, that's up to them, that's their choice. But I pretty much attended every single one-to-one. -one. Like I booked in one every week with like every lecture that I had um, or tutor that I had. And I think that really helped me because it showed to them that I was obviously really keen and I had the opportunity to like speak to them one-on-one -on -one about my project and get advice and ask questions. And which leads me on to my next point, which is make sure you ask a lot of questions when you go. So if you do have one-to-ones in the week leading up to it make sure that any little question that pops into your head you write it down in a notebook that like I used to go to every one-to-one -one with this literally this notebook and I would read out a list of questions and write down the answers and I think it just looks really good from your point of view and for theirs like it just looks like you want to try hard and you want to work your hardest and it gave me an opportunity as well to speak to my teachers and tutors and let them know that I was aiming for a first and it gives them an opportunity to give you any feedback like you should always always encourage feedback it's something that I I kind of struggled with a bit because I'm not very good with criticism um, I can take it quite hard but I think going to uni and receiving constructive criticism every week about my project really made me tougher in that sense and I think I accept it a lot easier now and I know that they are just trying to help me so I think that's really important to go and ask for feedback and you know just let them know that you want to you want to work as hard as you can ask them if there's anything else that they think you can do or if there's room for improvement on your project and just really make it clear that you want to do as much as you can to get a first class degree and I'm sure they will help you out so you're only going to get that if you ask for it. So my next point is a really really strong one for me and this definitely definitely worked because I am a person who loves to plan things so I've just written down that you should plan like try and schedule out your weeks. Um, I know this method doesn't obviously work for everyone it depends what kind of person you are and how you learn and how you live your life basically but I love to plan like like, even now I don't have a job and I'm not at uni I'm not really doing a lot with my life at the moment can't lie to you um, 
I sit down at the beginning of every week and I plan out my week, I plan out my days, um, even to like the hour sometimes, like if I've got quite a lot to do, if I need to film some videos or if I've got like just lifestyle stuff that I need to do or if I'm meeting up with friends, I literally will plan out my day and it just feels so satisfying to tick things off and I also think if you plan things in advance and you really plan out your deadlines and you make sure you know when a piece of work has to be done by or what kind of achievements you'd like to have done by the end of each week to get to your final goal I think that's going to make you feel a lot better about yourself you're going to feel like you've got your project under control and at no point are you going to be running behind on your project which I think is so important I think I always stayed really on top of my work and I did that since the since the beginning of uni like since first year um, I was always like one of the first ones to hand in my projects like I would always hand in way before my deadline just because I don't like the pressure of having to like rush something at the end I would much rather get it done in advance and be done with it and then I can just like relax and reflect on my work. Every time I film a video I get a really dead leg and it's starting to concern me. My leg has gone fully dead. Yeah, so I would just say make sure that you plan stuff at the start of each week, maybe write a little list of things that you want to get done maybe for your dissertation or for your final project. Um, and just set yourself a few like realistic goals obviously don't push yourself too hard you need to relax as well and not put too much pressure on yourself but I just think planning is really good and even if you're not great at it you could always sit down with your tutor or your lecturer and kind of make like a, a plan with them um, and put like some time scales on there of when you want to have things achieved by for me with my final project I had so much to do like I worked with a lot of other people in the industry so I worked with a graphic designer um, she designed my logos and all of that did all my branding and stuff for me I also worked with a photographer with models um, and I feel like there was something else as well and then obviously I did stuff myself but um, yeah to get the whole project like up and running I had to hit a lot of deadlines and I had to get work done by specific dates it was really important for me each week to kind of make a little list of tiny little tasks that I just wanted to get done by the end of that week even if it was as small as like cast the models or send over this email to this person about xyz like you've just got to make a plan and stick to it and then you will be fine my next one um, is to be passionate about your project or your course or whatever you're doing. I know sometimes that that's not the case for everyone and you might have started your course in first year and you may be in second or third year and be like, you know what, this isn't for me. And I totally get that. I know people make mistakes and they kind of learn along the way that the course actually isn't for them and it's not the kind of profession they want to go into. Luckily that didn't happen for me. I still was really passionate about my course by third year. So it was kind of easier for me to do it but I just think you can't fake good work do you know what I mean like I don't know how to explain it but I just think it's really important to be passionate about it and if you're passionate it will reflect in your work and that's obviously going to give you a higher grade because the work's gonna be better like it's kind of self-explanatory and I don't really need to go into detail of that one but yeah just be passionate about what you are doing and remember that uni is a really great opportunity to kind of create whatever you want like for me I could write my dissertation on literally anything I wanted and I could also create whatever I wanted for my final project. I kind of, part of me does wish that I had chosen something else but obviously I can't like go back in time now and change it and it worked out for the better anyway because I did get a first but um, yeah just really really think about what you actually want to do and use it as an opportunity to create whatever you want. I've already kind of touched on this one but I just wrote down that you should always ask for more feedback um, even if you've had one-to-ones and you've received feedback from your tutor or whatever like just keep asking for more because that makes you look really keen and passionate and interested in your project or your dissertation and I just think you can't go wrong with asking for more feedback because it's never gonna give you a worse grade it's only going to give you a better grade the more feedback you ask for so definitely do that I actually struggled a little bit with this just because I actually finished my degree during lockdown so I was having to have like Skype one-to-ones which wasn't really the same um, and I feel like that did kind of affect my grade for the written side of things so I had to do my final project and then I also had to do like a written evaluation for it and we hadn't been told anything about this at all and we just had to get advice over Skype in like a group a group chat and it wasn't it wasn't really the same so I feel like I could have done better um, if I'd have actually been at uni for that but obviously hopefully those of you watching will actually be at uni this time so yeah ask for as much feedback as you possibly can 
And then my last point is just to do your best and to try not to put like excessive pressure on yourself because I think at the end of the day although you are at uni to get a good um, grade and to get your degree and if you're watching this you obviously are interested in like pushing yourself to getting a good degree which is amazing and I think everyone should do that but just don't put too much pressure on yourself because I think once you start worrying about things and feeling the pressure and the stress of a project um, and like being too hard on yourself and too harsh on yourself that's when you're not going to do your best because you're going to be worrying too much so I think I know it's easier said than done but please just try and relax and enjoy it you know this time is going to go so quickly I wish I could be back at uni like honestly I'd do anything to go and relive those three years and do it all again because I loved it so much I had so much fun and I think I'm really happy with the way that I kind of always worked on time and I made sure that I was never like rushing to get my work done and for me personally that really worked so I hope that some of these points have helped you watching um do let me know down below in the description box if you've got any other tips as well we can all like share with each other um I've probably missed a few things and like I said at the start of this video there might be things that I mentioned in this video that won't work for everyone but I hope that I have given you a little bit of a little bit of advice and maybe um even if it's just made you feel a little bit more relaxed about going and third year then that would be amazing so yeah please make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you do want any other like uni related videos then also let me know down below in the comments i can definitely get those filmed for you but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you all very soon with another video goodbye